What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today it is freezing cold outside and we are going to be fixing something on this backhoe that I've been wanting to fix for such a long time now. This machine is an older machine and they didn't really have technology that they have nowadays. What I want to do is replace these old halogen lights with new LED lights. Let me show you what I bought. So I'm beginning to lay out some of the tools that I'm going to use for this project. I've got my gloves here, a uh, little ratchet, wrench. But here is the goodies that I want to show you guys. I've already opened these up. Here's brackets. But this is what I was super excited to try out and mount on this machine. Check these out. These are little LED work lights. About as big as my palm is. Two little ends here. Uh, we'll either use some electrical tape or use butt connectors if I have those. And we will connect these onto the machine. Now I bought the style that has a quite much like a barb that goes through. A bolt sits through here and it can uh, swivel like this. And that's the style that the machine has. What I don't know yet is that if this width right here will be the same that's on the machine. So let's go check that out. So as you can see on the machine, we've got two halogen lights up here. If we go to the back, we also have two, but this one right here is a bit cracked. I'll get up there so you can see, but it's just hanging there and the thing is cracked and the mount is cracked. So I'm gonna start with this one. It should be the easiest to take off and then we will replace those old lights with these. All right, so I'm up here on top of the machine. As you can see, this is the type of bracketry we got here. It's one single bolt that goes through that holds this mount, that holds the light. Um, but as you can see, it's cracked off here. It's tried to been repaired in the past, but you know what? We're gonna replace with LEDs. These should be so much better. Now, I'm looking at this right now. I need this barb to fit in there like that. And it looks like this is gonna be a little bit larger in this area right here than this one was. So I'm really hoping that I can just simply bend this piece and this piece apart and make them wider so that I can slip this in here and slip a bolt through. That's best case scenario. If that doesn't work, we're gonna have to figure something else out. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead, remove this bolt right here and see if I can bend these brackets so that this fixture will fit inside. All right, let's start by taking off this old piece it should be a half inch. Now remember it is about 25 degrees outside so these are probably somewhat frozen. All right, got the top nut off. Bolt slid out. You can see there's just pretty much a bolt like this with a nut on it. We're gonna save these just in case we need to use these again if the old one, if the new ones don't work. This piece should just come out like that. You can see it was just pretty much the same type of mount. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see if this light will fit. It doesn't look like it will. Um, you can see it's just really, really close to fitting. I was kind of hoping we could bend these brackets. I mean, it's close. We're talking a little less than maybe an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. All right, I've been just pulling on it and it looks pretty close. Um, maybe just a little bit more and this should fit in there. Sweet, it looks like, it looks like it's gonna fit. I think I'm going to have to put the bolt from the bottom up through it. I've got a lock washer for the top and a nut. Put that on top. I'll tighten those down, but I mean, that's pretty much what we were looking for. We were looking to have that light like this. Let me get you another shot of it. All right, so there we go. Um, the light is in here. It's not, uh, I haven't bolted it tight yet, but here's the cable. We'll just run that cable back here. Here's the old light. We're gonna cut that somewhere in here and we'll just connect these wires to that light and we should be good to go. I can do the other ones and uh, just what an improvement. That's LED, that's halogen. Just so much more light that gets put out with these. Better investment, better idea, they're cheaper, so. Let me work on tightening this up and uh, hooking up the electrical.
All right, guys, we're gonna turn the key on and see if the lights do work. The one that we installed, key's on. That should be on for that switch. The halogen works, and yes, the LED is working. That is awesome. So as you guys can see, the LED is working. Let me get down and show you what the difference. All right, guys, so there you go. There is the difference. You can see that has the LED, that has the old halogen light. I think they look 100 times better. I'm gonna go ahead and use some electrical tape to clean up those connections, and then we should be good to go for this light. But just that right there makes the machine look so much better. The LED, beautiful. A lot more light, and it just has that nice, crisp, white light compared to the old halogen. So I'll set the camera up and finish this light, and then we'll go ahead and do all the other ones. All right guys, there we have it. You can see both LEDs in the front are installed. I'm gonna run up there, turn the key on, and we'll see what they look like on. There we have it guys, look at it. Lights are on. I'll get a close up shot for you. But they look awesome. Much better than those old halogen lights. They're gonna create a nice white crisp light. And we'll go to the back. And there we have it, there are the backlights. Those look great as well. So, a really good improvement on the machine. You're gonna have much better visibility at night. If I ever plow with this machine or if I'm ever working it at night time, there's the front again. So, as you can see, it just makes the machine look a little bit newer. If you guys enjoyed this video, there'll be plenty more content like this, installs, reviews, everything else like that. Don't forget to give me a like, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.